Hi guys, it's Netta Monroe, and I'm super late with this video, but better late than never. Um, I'm coming to you with my update on my April weight loss. So for the month of April, I lost a total of 15 pounds, which was definitely more than I expected because my goal is 10 pounds a month, and I'm losing a total of 50 pounds. So um, the total for April is 15 pounds, and I'm really happy about it. So I'm going to tell you guys exactly how I did it. The first thing is I drank a lot of water. I tried to drink 100 ounces a day i'd be lying to you if i said that i actually made it every single day but my goal was 100 ounces a day and the first step is to having a goal but you don't have to drink that much my rule of thumb is for you to um divide your body weight by two and then that's how many ounces of water you should drink there's about 16 ounces in each bottle so um yeah then you can go and kind of figure out how many bottles of water you should be drinking per day by that figure so i eat about six to seven times a day and in the morning i eat as soon as i wake up and so i generally eat um a bowl of cereal which is generally like cheerios and then or i'll eat a bowl of oatmeal and that's because they're really, really fast for me to eat. But if you want something more, then you can definitely cook more. But that's just me because I'm moving so fast in the morning. And then two to three hours later, I'll eat some fruit, which is generally a banana because I, it helps you stay full for longer. And then um, two to three hours later, I'll eat my lunch, which is a meat and a vegetable. Then two to three hours later, I'll eat a yogurt, which is, I think, a 90 calorie yogurt and, um, and a serving of almonds um, and the the can will tell you exactly how many one serving is. So I count those out and so I eat that with my yogurt. And then two to three hours later I eat my dinner, which is a meat and a vegetable as well. And then if I need anything else, then I grab fruit or whatever right before I go to bed because I don't want to actually sleep on like a meal meal. And um, also if I want something like macaroni and cheese, if I want something that I know I shouldn't really be eating, I try to eat it for lunch instead of for dinner. Because I feel like, you know, you're still moving around after lunch. So that gives your body time enough to burn that off. Another thing that I feel like really helped me because I was taking it like I was supposed to is these Glee um, dietary supplements. And y'all saw those in my Wellgenics haul. I definitely dropped weight really, really well. And this um, Glee supplement helps you to drop weight. I definitely feel like the Glee supplements work because the first two weeks of May I was eating just anything I really didn't care I was pulling up back at the McDonald's and get my 10 piece nugget and my french fries and my Oreo McFlurry mm -hmm. but I was still taking my Glee and I cannot tell you that I lost weight but I remained at the same weight so the weight that I lost in the month of April is still off and it's just been sitting there hovering at the same weight but I know that if I wasn't taking that I probably definitely would have gained some weight another thing i want to show you guys is this app that i have here on my phone it's called lose it it's a picture of a scale i'm not sure if it comes on other phones but i know that it's on my app store in my iphone so um yeah it's called lose it and it's a picture of an orange scale and i'm going to go ahead and open it up i have a passcode on this so just in case you have like nosy people wait a minute wait a minute so just in case you have like nosy people you can have a passcode on it and you enter it and then it lets you know how much you can eat per day so today it tells me that i can eat 1493 calories i do not have 1493 calories remaining though because i've definitely eaten um a snack and two meals so far today i just haven't logged anything but um it has different sections on here and you can log all the food that you eat and this is um very 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 important you definitely should log everything that you eat so what you're going to do when you download this app is you're going to put in your current weight your goal weight and then it's going to um, ask you how fast you want to lose the weight and then it lets you know how many calories a day that you can eat and then when you log the food on here then it subtracts the calories from that so then you know how many calories you have left over for that day but you don't want to go too far under the amount of calories that you are granted a day because that can put your body into starvation mode and it won't let the weight go. Um, but also, you know, you can see whether you go over it or not. Um, it also, and I don't want to show you guys this because I don't want you guys to know how much I weigh, but it also has um, a place where you can log. Like if you weigh yourself, you can log for that day and then it keeps like a graph and it shows you how well you're doing compared to, you know, where you started. What I can say about this app is since it shows me, you know, how many calories I should be eating to reach my goal, when I start logging things, 
I realize, okay, oh my gosh, that was a whole lot of calories. You know, let me eat something light for dinner. You know, it kind of helps you where if you want to eat a big meal somewhere else, and you know for lunch or for breakfast or for dinner for that matter then you know how to ration out your calories so like if i know that my friends are coming from out of town and we're going to go out and have a drink and some dinner then i know okay let me eat really healthy all day long and then i'm going to save up this amount of calories and that's going to be my calorie budget for the night so you still won't have to go over your calories even if you have like a cheat meal or an alcoholic beverage the last thing that I'm going to tell you guys, and this has been really hard for me, is if you have a lot of people around you eating junk food and eating bad, it is really, really hard for you to stay focused because I know that the times that I have cheated, it has definitely been with people who were eating bad things that I knew that I shouldn't have been eating at the time. If you really want to do well, you can you know just try not to be around those people that much a lot of times as family so it's hard just to not be around family but you really have to get in the mindset that this is what you want and you need to remain focused and even if they're eating the greatest sloppy philly cheese steak with all the works on it you need to know okay let me not get that let me get something healthier and you know of course they make their little comments or anything but you really can't pay attention to them because when they are as big as a house and you are looking like Mm, then they're going to be looking like damn I should have been eating what she was eating that day you know so you just have to stay focused and a lot of times when people see you stay focused then it'll motivate them to do better as well some people it doesn't matter to them some people they're really happy with their size and they don't care and they're going to eat whatever the hell they're going to eat but a lot of the times if it's somebody who you've noticed that they complain about their weight but they don't do anything about it and you try to get them to do you know better and you try to get them to join in with you don't even do all of that talking to them show them like do well yourself and your results are going to show for themselves and then that's really going to motivate them and then so maybe you won't even have to go through that anymore with having a fight with you know cravings because that person's eating bad because now you know they feel bad for eating what they're eating and they want to join you because you look so good just stay focused you guys i know that it's hard but at the end it'll all be worth it because these before and after pictures that i've been taking because i take a picture every so often just to see what my body is doing you might not see it when you look in the mirror every single day but you definitely see it in those pictures and once you start seeing those results that's going to drive you to keep on going as always i want to thank you guys for watching and you can subscribe and like make sure you comment down below if you have any questions about anything i'll get back to you as soon as possible because i want to make sure that i'm able to help you guys as best as possible if you don't want your comment to be public then you can email me that will also be down in the description box um i just want you guys to stay focused if you are on a weight loss journey also if you're small you don't have to be losing weight just a healthier lifestyle because you know there are so many things happening to people with high blood pressure and diabetes and everything you'd really just want to be the healthiest the best you that you can be and when you eat better you actually feel better it's easy for you to get up in the morning and everything so i just want you guys to take a step in the right direction and eat better and i just hope that i'm able to motivate you guys to do that so i'll see you guys next time in my next video bye